All right, sorry about that abrupt line. I just realized that we were 40 minutes into the episode and I forgot to take a break. So, sorry about that. But figuring out who the mastermind is and how they kill Makuro and all the seconds, uh, all the school's mysteries, uh. it's a pretty tall friggin' order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. Really now? You can't agree? Why not? Hmm. I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's why I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, not puns anyway. Here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants. All of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Monokuma said that, didn't he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So in other words, if the mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Makuro, but there's no way he have could have disguised a scene like that. In other words, but according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Then the mastermind is There were 15 There were 15 students oh, fuck, I don't want to do our voice. There were 15 students of us. There are 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Makuro, and you get 16. So, the mastermind would have been one of them? And those 16. Oh, shut up, YouTube. And those 16 students are started out with the only ones still alive. Are the people standing right here? Need I continue, or do you get it now? Oh, excuse me. You're saying the mastermind's one of us? No way! You can't be serious! Wait! We can't say that for sure it's true yet! Monokuma might have just said all of that to confuse us! Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind's been the one who is also. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so they must be the high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in, in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was an autopilot. Maybe the uh, fuck. Maybe they loaded up an all dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have done all of those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be an entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Okay, flash trial time or investigation time or what? Uh, this is a school announcement. You've all, right. all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. <laughs> so, in the name of fairness, Jesus I Christ, just jumping into the end. Room in the school. Well, there's still like some progress left aside from like the six t six students. Jesus Christ, this is like SAO. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? 
Mm. Okay. How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we begin our own investigation. But, but I was planning on working alone from the beginning, anyways. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself and Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then, after making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> Gah, master! He didn't take me with him! Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> without m master, the rest of us are like coffee with cream without the cream or coffee! Yeah. We're totally useless! Shut the fuck up. Okay. Bye, bitch. Well, that Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone. And you're gonna go out by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go. Uh, okay, just so it's just me and Hina. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna. Use my totally awesome spirit powers to figure out the mastermind's identity! <laughs> okay. Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. No one's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Um. I guess I'll do the same thing. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know. But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless! If you hadn't been there, I would've... I would've died! M Makoto? <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But still, I know I've been most... been totally useless. Okay. So I figured, at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all to get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do all... do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later! Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Once again... It's just us two. Indeed. All right. So you're gonna go off to your own too, right, Whatever. Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're doing our searches separately doesn't mean we still can't work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Not only that, but splitting up actually might help and benefit us to uh, search for as many um, evidences as possible. Although on the other hand, without being monitored, the uh, mastermind, if assuming the mastermind is one of us students, is to be true, they could just probably like discard those types of evidence or something. Unless, I don't, I don't fucking know, we, we gotta figure this shit out. Doing our own investigation doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as a splitting up to cover more ground. And then, we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. When Kuma said, all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So, we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I had to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So, that's what I have to prove. I have to prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and self. What if Monokuma was a student? <laughs> Quote unquote. I mean, that makes. Oh, I don't know. That kind of makes no sense because he, he would have to abide the rules as a student as well, but at the same time. What if fucking, like. Mokuro was a mastermind and she just committed suicide or something. I don't even fucking know. What if the mastermind was already killed? Like, I don't know, like... I don't know, like... What if Leon was the mastermind? What if Sakura was the mastermind? What if the ones that we were already executed is the mastermind and they executed themselves or whatever? Oh, fucking whatever, okay. And then we can all escape together. Why the fuck does this thing have two sequels? I want to know what the fuck's going on in those games. Alright, we'll continue this investigation. I guess I'll start by... Take another look at Makuro's Monokuma file. <coughs> Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. Strange theory, but what if the victim was not more Makuro? 
The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife. Ooh, excuse me. Which went completely through the body. They also had been struck with a head by the, uh, an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds, but these were le at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Makuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So, where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Alright. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gates were down before. That should open right now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, it's time to get started. Right at places to check. Okay, thanks for the uh, list walkthrough guide. So, we'll be right back with the next episode of... With the next episode of Dagon Ropa, stay tuned.